Hi, my name is Ricky Wynn, and I'm a Senior Application Engineer at Hawkridge Systems, and today we're going to be taking a look at the enhancements of SOLIDWORKS Measure Tool in 2018. Now with each annual release, SOLIDWORKS looks to streamline their tools that make the designer more productive. One of the most commonly used tools is the Measure Tool. We can use it to measure the lengths of edges, determine the distance between planes and surfaces, and even calculate the surface area. Now, in 2018, it's been enhanced to include a larger selection window. We also have the ability to adjust the font size for easier reading. We can also quickly copy and paste measurements and then also have the measure tool be pinned as well. First up, what we're going to look at is the enlarge selection window. As you can see here, as we select our edges, we're, we've always been able to select multiple edges at one time. But as you can see with our selection window, we can only see at max three selections at once, right? Even though eight edges were selected. So here you can see in 2018, that selection window has been enlarged. So now we can see up to six items at once. That makes it much easier to see what we've already selected and deselect anything we didn't mean to measure. Next up, we have the quick copy. So when creating measurements with the measure tool, users would often have to copy and paste the results onto spreadsheets, Word documents, or Notepad for future reference. The process would usually go something like this. So say we pop over to 2017. We want to highlight the measurement, so we'd select them both, making sure we get both the measurement and the units, and then afterwards we right click and copy. From there we can go into notepad, right click and then paste. Now in 2018, we aim to make that process even smoother. So now, if I'm going to go ahead and select the loop, you can see just by hovering over the measurement, both the units and the dimensions get selected. Then there's a little pop-up that appears that allows me to copy the measurement. And from there, I can go ahead and paste that in there. So you can see it's much easier. It kind of knows intuitively what you want to do. So essentially, it's pared down those two steps down to just one step. So next, let's take a look at the font size. So you'll see these buttons um, in the top right. You'll see that one allows us to increase the font size as I click on it. And then the one to the right will allow you to decrease the font size back to the default size. So this gives us quick access tools that we can use to just quickly toggle the font size. Last thing I want to talk about is the ability to pin the measure window. Here I'm going to unpin it and then click escape. So you can see the measure tool window disappears, right? So sometimes people accidentally click escape to end it. Here I'll pin it now and then we'll take a measurement and then afterwards we're done. If I click escape, notice the measure window is still active, right? This allows us to continue taking measurements on the same the same part or multiple parts. So in today's video, we saw how the measure tool has made things even easier for us. Now in 2018, we have a larger selection window so we can see exactly what we selected, what we haven't selected yet, and what shouldn't have been selected. In addition, quick copy has been added so we can quickly and intelligently copy our measurements. And if that wasn't enough, the adjustable font size buttons allows for users to increase the font size for easier reading, and we can now pin our measure window. Thanks for watching.